Hi, I'm Dr. Bruce Sard with the Wagon Train Veterinary Clinic, and in today's segment, we are going to discuss the ins and outs of cat nutrition. My assistant Cole and I have put together a list of questions that we're going to run through to hopefully give you a better understanding of nutrition in cats. Cole? Dr. Broussard, how does nutrition impact the health and well-being of my cat? Well, the old expression, you are what you eat, no different in dogs or cats uh, than it would be for us. So the better quality of ingredients that are in that nutrition, the frequency with which they eat, all of those things are going to have a huge role in the development and weight maintenance of cats. Will my cat's nutritional requirements change throughout their life as a kitten, adult, and senior cat? Absolutely, yeah. So going through all the different life stages is absolutely going to affect, uh, affect the type of food you need to feed and how that food will there, uh, therefore affect the cat. Obviously kittens, rapid growth rate, they're going to need more fats, proteins, calciums for bone development, those kind of things. And then the opposite would be true later in life, whenever their growth is long finished, um, they're going to need just complete different requirements. So absolutely, life stage has a huge factor in uh, the foods that you feed. What are some signs and symptoms of poor cat nutrition in your pet? Some of the more common things we see would be things like a, a dull, poor hair coat. Uh, weight loss is another obvious one that we see a lot of. Um, you can see certain things like lethargy, um, loose stools. Uh, that, that's probably the most common four or five things I can think of with poor nutrition in cats. Should I let my cat free feed? I'm not a big fan of free feeding cats, I'm really not. Um, I know there's plenty of people that do it and for, for cats they can regulate themselves adequately, it, it's fine. <laughs> the bad thing is not the free feeding part, the bad thing is the lack of self-control that most cats have. So they will stay at a food bowl and just engorge themselves and then the next visit we're having to talk about obesity in cats because they don't know how to say no. Um, so that's really it. it. It's not that it's a bad thing, but it's not the best thing for the majority of cats because of weight issues. When it comes to cat food, what and how much should I be feeding them? Again, it varies uh, on their life stage. You know, kitten, adult, are they an active adult? Are they a couch potato adult? You know, so all of those things are going to factor in. Um, and then the other thing, again, it's, it, it's just such a, a broad question to answer. What should you be feeding? I am a big fan of dry food over wet, number one. Um, I think the dry kibble is a little bit better for them and certainly better for their teeth. Um, and then I run into the question sometimes, should I be feeding raw food or fresh foods and things like that? Um, they're okay, they really are okay. I can tell you with my schedule and the way I live, dry food, dry kibble is, is the way I go because for the average person, um, it's hard to prepare fresh food on a daily basis. If you can do that and it's a well-balanced, that's the key word, well-balanced fresh diet, I have no problem with that at all. Uh, but I think for the average working person, a, uh, a food that's already balanced for you um, and, and dry kibble like that, that doesn't go stale or get moldy or attract insects or any of those things, that's, that's my preference nine times out of 10. Okay? All right, guys. Well, that does it for today. I thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions or want to reach out to us, you can catch us on Facebook. You can email us. You can call us directly at the office or you can just come on by. Thank you for tuning in and we'll talk to you soon.